So this is just a quick video explaining the Touch OSC mapping that I've made for my iPad, um, which is downloadable back in the article. Um, so this mapping was made to control all four decks in Tractor um, in a sort of intuitive way. Um, it's inspired by the uh, Electrix Tweaker controller. That's where I sort of got the main idea for the layout from. Um, and so up here we have a section that um, can jump between the various hot cues in the song. Um, down here is loop control, so this sets the loop length. And then this actually drops the loop, and then you can jump forward and backward like the beat jump functions down here. Um, these toggle between decks A and C on the left, B and D on the right. And you can see that the um, knobs jump to their proper places sort of when you switch decks. Um, up here we have controls for seeking in the tracks. Um, and you can see that they light up when you make noise. Um, and then there's also browser controls up here. You can load tracks into the decks or you can toggle the full browser as well in Tractor. Um, EQing sections, and then your play buttons. So <clears throat> you can do all of your mixing. You can control the sync um, and headphone cue features with it. Gotta get jiggy with it. And I made it sort of um, as a way to do the sort of basic queuing, transport, mixing um, functionality that I lost not being able to bring my Control S4 to London. Um, and then it was made to sort of uh, act as the main controller um, to the MIDI Fighter Pro mapping that I've made, which handles all the effects. So this one doesn't really do effects as much. Um, so the MIDI Fighter Pro mapping, I think is really exciting. Um, this section, uh, the main sort of button grid, is very much like the uh, DJ Tech Tools instant gratification mapping, in that um, this bottom row uh, contains most of the sort of like beat slicing type effects. So there's a beat masher, just like the mapping uh, from DJ Tech Tools. Um, there's a gator also on these two buttons, and over here's a ring mod, which I think is a fun effect that I've been getting into lately. Um, and then up top, these six buttons are for the sort of softer effects, so you can either you can destroy the beat or you can smooth it. So there's a filter at two different values, um, there's reverb, and there's delay also. These two buttons, um, this is shift and this is mode. Going into mode changes the bottom eight buttons into your cue points. Um, and then you can also you can trigger it, you can also delete it and you can set them. So if you press shift and then hit any of the cue buttons that deletes the cue. And if there isn't a cue set, then pressing the button will drop one. Um, and so this section, uh, this can cycle through four different presets. And so the preset that we're currently set to is indicated by the light. So if we switch to the first one, um, <clears throat> the knobs and faders here will control the parameters of the effects on the instant gratification page. So the black is for the bottom eight buttons, the white is for the top six buttons. So if we grab the B matcher here, we can Or uh, if the, the ring modulator is another good example, you can. And then up, up top is the dry wet knob. So the parameter and the dry wet. Um, the second preset, uh, these are, are actually their own individual effects, totally separate from the instant gratification pad. Um, so on the left, we have uh, this is a super fader with beat masher on the way down, and then it shuts off, and then you have gator on the way back up. So you can, since it shuts off when you go back to the top, you can sort of like trigger it on and off. And then you go down to the bottom and then it gates on the way back up. Um, on the right side, we have another super fader that has a peak filter on the way down. Halfway down, it turns on reverb. And then on the way back, it's a flanger. So. It's a cool effect for like wipes, I think. 
Um, and then this uh, knob here is a, a transpose knob that is triggered when um, the beat masher comes on. So you can, which is pretty cool. It's also triggered when you use the beat masher here, which I think is a little more fun actually. You can like, Um, and that's also triggered by the cue points. So if we pick a different song here, if we have like a vocal sample, so um, if we have a vocal sample, which is pretty fun. And then um, even in, in in this mode, the the soft effects still work. So you can you can like put on echo and reverb, and then you can do the transpose cue uh, point trigger. Which I think is a pretty expressive uh, combo of effects, actually. It's pretty fun. Um, so the, the, the third preset, um, this is the slicer page. So we turn that song back on. Um, the two faders represent two parameters of the slicer, and this is the buzz parameter. So if you pull one of them down, it'll turn on. And it's pretty fun to play with, and you can bring a little buzz if you want to get glitchy. Um, and then the other cool feature is that if you um, if you press it again then you switch into this mode where it's a sort of like instant slice effect. Um, so you can just tap any of these buttons and it just picks out a slicer preset for you to use. And switch off to the activated. Um, the fourth preset is the ever popular Echo Freeze. Um, so you press it once to arm it, and then you press it again to activate. And then, once again, these knobs all control the parameters of the effect, so dry, wet, and then the other three parameters. You can... And bring it back. So, um... Aside from just controlling the presets, these, these buttons have some other functions that are controlled by the two uh, shift and mode buttons up here. So if you press shift, this lets you select which deck you want. So right now it's set to preset one, you hit shift, we see it's set to deck B, so we can switch it to deck A, B, C, D. Um, so it's a pretty easy just you know thing to do, you can just switch it really quickly. And you can also just check what deck you're on right now. Um, if you press shift and then mode, you get FX routing, so you can turn on the effects for as many decks as you want. Um, so right now you can see that it's set to control all four decks in Tractor. Um, you can even set it to no decks if you want. Um, the best way to sort of like learn how to use this mapping, I think, is just to play around with it. So you can sort of get a good intuitive feel by just messing around and have fun.